We've all heard of Paris as the city of love, and it has been displaying the romantic atmosphere since time immemorial. But Paris is not just a city of love, but rather one of the most attractive tourist hotspots in the world. So today we're going to give you a list of the top 10 things to do in Paris. Hello and welcome to Europe's Travel Tips. Join our channel by hitting subscribe and clicking the bell icon to be updated on our new uploads. Without further ado, let's dive in. There's going to be a bonus tip for you at the end, so stay till there. Number 10. The Moulin Rouge the Moulin Rouge is a cabaret known as the spiritual origin of the French Can-Can, located near to Montmartre Slope within the heart of Pigalle, and built in 1889 by Joseph Oller and Charles Zidler. At first presented as the courtship move, the Can-Can made possible the birth of the cabaret present in many nations around the world. Nowadays, the Moulin Rouge is largely traveler fascination, giving excitement to guests from the worldwide fashion and its title has been borrowed from other clubs around the world, Las Vegas for example. Numerous movies have been made the reputation of the cabaret, such as Baz Luhrmann's motion picture in 2001 featuring Nicole Kidman and Ewan McGregor. Book the Moulin Rouge tickets in early because it offers out amazingly fast. Number 9. The Paris Catacombs Few places within the French capital rouse the dreary interest that the catacombs of Paris do, and for great reason. The portion that opened to the public comprises around 1.5 kilometers for one mile of underground burrows, carved from limestone and perfectly lined with the remains of six million cadavers. And this only speaks to the minor segment of the endless network. The catacombs, a mysterious dedication to millions of unnamed perished Parisians, are filled with human bones, skulls, and other heaped in strangely lavish, slick shows, and described by sonnets and axioms for death. They too hit a vetoed nerve. Number 8. Montmartre Seque Coeur Montmartre is a slope found within the north of Paris, 130 meters tall, having its title to the encompassing neighborhood. It is best known for the white dome of Basilica of the Sacred Heart at its top. It was completed in 1919 and respects the French casualties of the Franco-Prussian War of 1870. The Sacrosanct Heart Basilica of Mount Martyr, or Sacré-Cœur, is a Roman Catholic church and a popular point of interest in Paris, with a deep and complex history. It isn't only a devout landmark, to a political one. The location has been around since agnostic times through the Middle Ages and French Revolution. After visiting the Sacré-Cœur, wander through the streets of Mont Martyr. This area has once home to famous painters like Dali, Picasso and even Van Gogh and still you can find lots of arts and artists here. Number 7. Arc de Triomphe Beneath the spell of antiquated Roman design, Napoleon commissioned Jean Calgrin, the plan of the Triumph Curve, devoted to the radiance of the Royal Armed Forces. Built within the 19th century, it is the biggest monument of its kind in the world. Noteworthy figures embellish its columns. In expansion, the names of 558 commanders and the extraordinary triumphs are engraved on the top of the bend. Beneath the Bend de Triomphe is the tomb of the unknown warrior of France. The all-encompassing porch over the entryways offer an excellent view of Paris. 50 meters tall, 45 meters wide and 22 meters deep, the Arc de Triomphe is found on the Place de Etoile, which leads further to Champs Elsies, which is nicknamed the foremost excellent road within the world. It stands 1.9 kilometers between Place de la Concorde and the Arc de Triomphe. There are numerous extravagant boutiques, Louis Vuitton, Cartier, Guerlain, Mont Blanc, places of entertainment, Lido, cinemas. Number 6. Tuileries Garden The Garden des Tuileries is one of Paris's most prevalent green gardens. Arranged within the center of the City of Light, it links the Louvre Gallery, the Musée d'Orsay, and the Jeux de Pommes Gallery and Pou de la Concorde, and it is a perfect place for people who require a walk and take in a few viewpoints of the capital. Tuileries' royal residence was built by Catherine de Medici in 1564. It is an extraordinary place for a walk and for children to play. Benches and seats are given free of charge so that everybody can appreciate the advancements of Le Notre. Number 5. The Notre Dame The Notre Dame Cathedral is broadly considered one of the finest illustrations of French Gothic engineering within the world. The title Notre Dame implies Our Lady in French and is habitually used within the names of Catholic church buildings in Francophone countries. The Notre Dame Cathedral is the genuine cathedral of the Catholic Archdiocese of Paris, which is to say it is the church that has the official chair, or cathedra, of the Archbishop of Paris. Within the Cathedral of Notre Dame, there are endless displays of craftsmanship, furniture, 
and numerous profitable things that reflect the Neo-Gothic plan. Sadly, the Notre Dame is being rebuilt after the devastating fire in 2019. We cannot wait to see this beautiful church again after being renovated. Visitors are expected being welcomed again in 2024. Almost time to give you a bonus tip. Remember, stay connected. Number 4. The Canal Cruise Seine The River Seine acts as a dividing line between Paris's historically sophisticated and bohemian halves. With this UNESCO World Heritage Site lined riverbanks, it forms the perfect start for a romantic stroll. Or, if you're not so keen on walking yourself, you can hop on a canal cruise and enjoy the Seine on the boat. There are different options to enjoy, from hop-on, hop-off tours to romantic sunset dinner cruises, so there's a voyage for every kind of traveler. Number 3. Versailles The Chateau de Versailles is the foremost popular castle in France. Built within the 17th century as an image of military control of France and as a show of French amazingness in Europe, Versailles was the throne of political power within the Kingdom of France from 1682 to 1789. This colossal complex of buildings, gardens and porches is certainly a must for any guest who will be captivated by exceptional chambers, extravagant decorations, furniture and overlaid works of Renaissance art. You can easily visit Versailles by taking the C5 train from Paris. Within one hour, you can find yourself wandering around the halls of the spectacular castle like your Marie Antoinette or King Louis XIV yourself. Number 2. The Museum Louvre the Louvre is the foremost visited art museum within the world, with one of the most famous inhabitants of all, the Mona Lisa. Found within the heart of Paris, this noteworthy building is a former royal residence with a range of 210,000 square meters, counting 60,600 for the presentations. The exhibition hall is housed within the Louvre, originally a fortress built within the late 12th century under Philip II. The remains of the fortress are still to be found within the cellar of the museum. Number 1. The Eiffel Tower What would Paris look like without its famous Eiffel Tower? Built by Gustave Eiffel to celebrate the century of French Revolution, it's displayed at the Article University in Paris in 1889. 324 meters tall, it's one of the foremost gone landmarks within the world with about 7 million guests a year. The tower houses two restaurants, one of which has been awarded a Michelin star. On the third floor, at 275 meters, you'll find the original office of Gustave Eiffel. And of course, the tower offers multiple excellent viewpoints of the city below you. These viewpoints can be reached by climbing all the 1,665 steps, or if you are feeling less sporty, by taking one of the three elevators. Certainly, these are must-visit and must-be on top of your travel list. Time for a bonus tip. Have you ever watched cartoons? Of course, we all did, and we still do. And who doesn't know about Mickey Mouse? Yes, I'm talking about Disneyland, a one-stop destination for all the kids in you. Fans of Mickey can visit Disneyland Paris, which is 32 kilometers from central Paris, with a link to the rural RERA. Disneyland Paris has two theme parks, Disneyland with Sleeping Beauty's Castle and Walt Disney Studios. The best attractions are Space Mountain, it's a little world and enormous Thunder Mountain. So now we've come to the end of this video. Till we meet again, keep traveling, keep supporting us guys, and don't forget to keep your family safe. Thanks for watching this video. Adios.